Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Most of all, you're enjoying your hobbies, whatever they may be. Or you're just enjoying the series. Yes, we're taking a, a little break from the station this week. And uh, we're going to focus on this pillbox. Um, it's been over four months now since I made this little pillbox. And I just made it and plonked it on the concrete plinth there. And uh, that was it. Well, we've come back to look at it now and add some greenery and shrubs and give it that uh, disused look. Um, as we all know, this layout's based in the 50s and 60s. Well, whatever where you look at it, the war's been over for, say, the maximum of 20 odd years. So in that time, there would have been a lot of brambles, trees and everything growing up around this pillbox. So that's what I, I want to do, is add some shrubbery, greenery, trees, whatever, just to this pillbox. And at the same time, do something about that blank area over there. Because, uh, well, every time a train comes past, all you see is that blank area. So if we add some greenery there as well, and it just helps to set this little scene for future videos. So, that's enough of me yapping. Let's get started. The first thing I want to do is add a path along here, and some steps, and then put in a gate. Um, and then that's as far as I go because then we're entering the farmer's yard. So we're going to leave that for another time. So here we are, we're back at the bench. And before we do anything to the pillbox, we have a couple little jobs to do. Um, some, some steps and a gate. Um, I've already made the little steps. Now this is to go from the farmyard down to uh, the hill. I uh, don't know if you noticed, but there was a gap in the wall, so that's for that. Now, as for the gate, um, I just got this a little bit of plastic card. Uh, it's two mil thick, and I'm just making up a couple of posts. I want to go either side and that should bring the total width to 15 mil and then we'll be able to paint that and then glue that into the gap. Um, when I did the third reel, remember all these little tiny tiny washers, so I'll cut one of them out and stick it to the gate. Um, don't know if you remember those great big pull rings you used to find on gates, you know we used to you know for closing the gates so that's what I'm going to use for that. I'm going to glue one of them on there and then paint that black. So I'll just glue this together and then we'll come back to the pillbox. Right so we finished off the the gate and the steps. Um, as you know that's just made from card one mil at the top and then five steps of two mil which takes the steps down from the farmyard level as it were down to well, where the bunker path's going to be roughly 10 mil and the gate I've painted it in a like a military green and uh, once that's dry I've just got to paint that ring there black as you can see for the for the handle and then that's done so now we can move on to the pillbox. Um, another thing is it's always handy to have some wet wipes in your in your model railway room just for your if you get paint on your fingers that sort of thing. It's just handy to have them for for that. Just thought I'd mention that. So what we're gonna do with the pillbox. Right, I've got some PVA wood glue here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
paint on where I've already darkened it with the weathering powders and paints just going to paint on some squiggly lines with the PVA wood glue and then sprinkle on some of this greenery um, when you buy the cheap trees you get a lot of this loose stuff uh, in a bag with the trees and I always keep it um, because it's ideal for this kind of job um, as you can see it's not it's quite flaky and I think it'd be ideal for, for this so I'm just using a, a paintbrush just to put on a reasonably thick line of PVA and then just branch it off bear in mind this will dry clear so you won't see glue I know it seems crazy covering it all up with PVA wood glue but let's just see what happens What I might need to do is to get a glue splatch, spatula and press it on. But, uh, we'll see. So far so good. Now it does seem a shame after all the hard work of putting this little building together while well, I'm hiding it with uh, greenery. But um, that's what it was in that photograph uh, as you remember rightly. Now what I've done also is I've added tiny tiny touch of woodland scenics blended turf just to um, darken it a little bit as you can see there uh, which is this stuff here all I've done is once I've sprinkled the core stuff on I've just gently sprinkled some of the blended turf on just to soak up some of the glue that's in there but yeah that's uh, looking pretty good at the moment so I've just got to cover the whole um, pill box and uh, we shall see what it looks like when it's done So I'm just doing that and then a little tiny bit blended turf and that just darkens it down a little bit and at the same time 
Soak up some of the wood glue. Well, that don't look too bad. Uh, I think I might have overdone it a little bit. It certainly has the effect I was looking for. Meanwhile, over at Bunker Hill, I've been preparing the site for the foliage. And this is what I'm going to be using. This is Briar Patch Dry Brown FS63. I'll be using that. And the, these are the cheap trees I was telling you about uh, a while back. Now these are HO trees, and they're more or less the same as those trees there which were double O gauge trees but they've gone up in price and these are quite cheap and they're still the same height and everything the only thing I can say with these is the branches and the trunks are a little bit greyer than those ones over there so I might have to um, add a little bit of paint on them just on the the trunks of the trees as it were right so I've been adding a little bit of plywood here to cover the actual um, form board that was used to make uh, this hill and uh, yeah so it's, it's starting to take shape um, a while back I did a video on making the stone walling out of cork so I'll be using a little bit of that just to put in here and across over there now this fencing is quite uh, cheap fencing you can pick it up anywhere um, comes in quite long lengths and uh, it was brown so what I did is I got some grey weathering powder and just covered it with grey weathering powder because it was just too brown I mean if you go um, outside and look at some really old fencing it's been bleached with the sun so it's always like a, a greyish colour so that's what I've done with that that's going to go over there so hopefully by the time this video is finished we would have created a totally different scene than what you saw at the beginning of the video. I have trimmed the tree back and I've also painted the trunk uh, with the burnt sienna um, acrylic paint and uh, I'm just wiping it off with a q-tip just to tone it down a bit because it is a bit bright that brown. So where I've painted it in a few places I have a uh, just gone in there and I think that's a lot better than the grey that was there originally so that's ready to be stuck in place so now it's just about adding the PVA wood glue and some scenics now um, I'm using that dryer patch to go across the back again up against the wall and uh, some blended turf mixed in with uh, some other um, greenery just to uh, finish this off now so I'm just pressing home this and hopefully the glue will take hold and then just squish, squish it up a little bit yeah that's, that's looking good So weird stuff, it's like um, brambles. Now I'm adding some coarse turf uh, as well as the um, 
the, the, the frock as well. Is it a frock or frock? This stuff. Right, that's ready to pop the tree in. There. What I'm going to do is just twist it to make sure the on the trains hit the tree. Now that the fence has been put in place, that finishes that little tiny area off. But it's just one more check. We've just got to make sure that the brake van does not clap the tree. This side of the tracks we've been a little bit busy too. We've added a fence, a stone wall, some more foliage inside this little area, and all that's left to do now is add the pillbox in here. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but the steps and the gate is now glued in position. So all it is, is just drop that in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some of this rough foliage all the way around the inside and then pop in a couple of trees. So the trees have got to be measured so that they don't clash with the pillbox and uh, we shall see what it looks like when we're finished. Well, what a difference. I think I have the desired effect I've been looking for. A hidden pillbox. Now then, would you see that if you were passing that on the train? Maybe, maybe not. But yep, it's just another piece of the jigsaw puzzle here at the Northeastern. And at some point we will come back to this level crossing. But uh, as I always say, that's for another video. Right, so uh, I think that's all we got time for. I think we'll have the trains running one more time. Yeah. Until next time, stay safe everybody. Bye for now. Bye.